Hello fam, my name is Joseph, uh, Joseph Graham. I'm the managing member of Upshot Solutions, LLC. And I'm just trying to help you guys out, okay? So these are the key elements to ranking organically. And before we get into this, I just wanna say one thing. When somebody is looking for a particular service or product, they're gonna do one or two things. That's it, one or two things. They're gonna ask somebody, Hey, do you know who does this or has that? Or they're going to get on Google and they're going to search for that product, right? Those are the two. That's it. They're either going to ask somebody they know who has it, who does it, or they're going to get on Google and look for who has it, who does it, okay? And if they get on the internet and look, this is where I come in and I, I help businesses be seen, okay? And this is how we help them do that. All right, I'm just a guide. I'm not the hero. I'm just a guide. I'm just here to uh, drop some, you know, information on what I've been doing for the past decade. All right. So number one, it doesn't matter what you do. It does not matter what you do. You can be a photographer. You can be a landscaper. You can do eyelashes. It doesn't matter what you do. You need to have a map listing. Key element number one is this map listing, okay? And this anchors you in the town you wanna rank in. Why is this important? Because on the internet, your business, so say you do have a website, okay? Let's say you have a website, but you don't have a map listing. You're, 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 you're just floating around on the internet, okay? Until you set up this map listing and anchor yourself in the place where you want uh, calls from or clients from you're just floating around the web if you don't know how to set up this map listing you go to google my business okay and it might some people are seeing yelp up here but you go to google my business and uh you're gonna see this guy with the guitar okay then you're gonna sign into your your whatever email you want okay each map listing you can have multiple <laughs> you can have multiple map listing. Each map listing needs its own email. All right. Okay, then you're gonna fill this thing out. Let's just say uh TW one one two, whatever. Just you gotta make sure that no one else had your business, okay? Let's just I'm just I know some of you may have this already. I'm just trying to make this real quick. You have to click enter. You can see your business name right there. I'm just trying to get to one of these. Um you're gonna pick the category. Just say like a medical spa, whatever. If you have a brick and mortar business, now this question right here, do you want to add a location that customers can visit, like a store or whatever? Depending on the question previous to this, if you have a brick and mortar business, it's gonna make you select yes, okay? And when you select yes, your address is going to be displayed on your map listing. If you click no, then your address will not be displayed and it'll just show that you service that area like Fort Worth or Grand Prairie or Dallas or whatever. Okay, so depending on this this question right here, the business category, if it knows it's a brick and mortar business like a medical spa, it's gonna make you uh, do that. But let's just say you're a billing service or whatever. That's not, so I can click on no and then I'm just running through this real quick. You have to put one of these. Either you put a URL, your business page, or you put your phone number. One of these have to be selected. Okay. Now, let's go back to key elements. Once you have that set up, they're going to mail you a letter. Yada, yada, yada. You want to start building citations. All right. Citations go off your name, address, and phone number. Okay. And to recap, I know we're four minutes in right now, but I'm going to use this brother as a. I saw him in the group. I'm going to use this business as an example. Okay. So this is his name. This is his address. And this is his phone number. He does have a website URL. And you can see it down here in the corner. BradfordTechnology.tech. Okay. You would use the name, address, phone number, and that website URL when you do business uh, uh, citations. What is a citation? I'm going to show you guys. Before I jump into the citations, I just want to show you one thing, all right? I just want to show you one thing. Businesses, 
in the top three map listings of the map listings are going to get 68 70 percent of the traffic okay what does this mean it means anybody looking for a telecommunication service provider in dallas so I might type that in if they live in dallas this is going to auto populate anyways you're going to have people paying for ads and then you're going to have the organic map listings these are this is why it's important to have this map listing so you even qualify to be in the top three uh in the map listings all right and then below this you have the organic listings now usually what happens is when you end up in these organics your map listing follows that okay but it's possible to end up in here and your business isn't here yet anyways you want to be in here all right so with the citations this is a, a site called yext this is the url products listings and here are 97 places where you can get a citation but keep in mind there are literally hundreds of places to get citations so when you have a facebook page and you have your nap information on this facebook page your name address and phone number facebook will give you a citation whenever you uh some of y'all know yelp some of you know yellow pages Whenever you create a YouTube video and you put your nap information in that video or, you know, in the, the description, YouTube is going to give you a citation. OK, you want to be cited all over the Internet, all over the Internet. All right. Next is content. Content is the words on your website. It needs to be authoritative. It needs to be relevant to searchers. What does this mean? Okay, you can type in anything. Most of the time, Wikipedia pops up first. All right, why does Wikipedia pop up first? Because Wikipedia has the most authoritative and relevant content on any subject matter. That's why Wikipedia usually pops up first. So it's no different for businesses and their services. If you're gonna be a telecommunications provider, this guy wants to have the most authoritative and relevant content on these services. Okay, so we're inside of his services on his website. Okay, so I just clicked on manage IT services because I've worked with some of those guys. All right. Now, you want to have a lot of content on like what this even is. Like IT services, there's a lot of different things that go into this, right? So on you just, we have to expand on what this even is. So if someone is looking for this remote IT support, which is for Dallas, I mean, you can get this anywhere. Like most of these people would be in India anyways, but you want to really expand on these services that you offer. Okay. You want to be the Wikipedia of IT services in the city. I can show you guys some more examples, but if you look at like a very popular uh, IT website, you're going to see like loads of content of all the different things that they do. And that's very important. I know some of you guys are probably like, man, I don't have time for this. I just need, I just need clients now. I'm trying to show you. This is important. Okay. The key elements ranking organically are super important. Right. Why? These people are paying for ads for two reasons. Reason one, they're a super big company. They have the ad budget, which is totally, it's 100% deductible anyways. But most of the time, you'll see a lot of local businesses paying for ads. They pay for ads because they don't know these key elements that I'm showing you right here. Okay. So again, you want to have authoritative and relevant content, which means in your services or whatever it is on your site that you provide, you just want to go into depth and start answering any questions that people may have, right? Because people do ask questions like, hey, Cortana, Cortana, like people ask Cortana, these, these robots, Siri, they'll ask these people questions in regards to a service or product that you offer. And when you answer that, that those questions are called long tail keywords. And when you answer those questions via, you know, text and content on your site, when someone in the area is asking that question and you answer it, you have the most authoritative answer. And guess who's going to pop up? You are. Okay. 
After this is backlinks, and this is the juice that pushes anything you have online with the URL. If you see this right here, this is a URL. Everything you have online has a URL. Okay, you can backlink and push juice to these URLs to make it rank. So just to kind of simplify what these backlinks mean. Right, you say you have an Etsy store. Your Etsy is gonna have it's gonna say like Etsy slash, and then your store name, right? Backlink to that URL. So for BradfordTechnology.tech, this guy got 41 backlinks. Okay, and let me just show you an example. Google.com, right? They got like 300. I don't know if that's a million or a billion. <laughs> they have a lot of backlinks, right? And so they have a lot of juice. Like they are 100 over 100. So they very they're very trusted. Okay, we can even see where Google's backlinks are coming from. I can see anybody's backlinks, right? And a lot a lot of times, what I do is I'll see who my competitors are, see where they get their backlinks from, and try to get backlinks where they got theirs from. Because there's no need to reinvent the wheel. There's no we like to duplicate success. So take my get the same backlinks as my competitors, and then build more. Right, this this SEO game ranking on page one is the race, right? This is the race to end up on here because the top ten businesses, especially the top three, get seventy percent of the traffic. These top three people are the first ones in the area to get called, or you know, going to get the most um, consultations. Not only that, but also whoever has the most reviews within these top uh, businesses, these top three. All right, so again. Ranking on page one is the ultimate goal. This is this is how I help other businesses, you know, grow by helping them either get more walk-ins or get more calls if they are a phone-based service. It just depends. Okay, your website is going to be your vehicle to get here, and these backlinks are the juice that push you from wherever you're at to page one. Okay. Also, I'm gonna add something else. Do not. Do not half ass this map listing. There's going to be a lot of questions in here that need to be answered. Do not leave anything blank in here. Upload as many pictures as you can, preferably before your postcard arrives with that verification code. Upload as many pictures as you can. Answer anything you can. Fill out the descriptions, any services, everything you possibly can. Okay, after that, we're going to jump into this. This is called the heat map. Now we're going to use Fort Worth Drywall Solutions as an example. So, Forward Drywall Solutions is what it sounds like. It's a drywall. It's a drywall company, right? What you're looking at here is a heat map. So, let's say you do ashes, eyelashes, or it doesn't matter what you do. Okay, you got to have this map listing. So, what you're looking at are you see a bunch of circles. Some are yellow, some are red, some are green, some have one, some have five. These areas are where they rank in the map listings. So in South Fort Worth, they rank number two. Okay, we can click on this um, circle and see. So when somebody in this area is looking for drywall, their first thing they're going to see is preferred acoustics, and then they're going to see Fort Worth Drywall Solutions. Okay, and like you know, in this Crowley area, if someone is looking for drywall, first thing they're going to see is Fort Worth Drywall Solutions, and then so on and so forth you understand and this is how some businesses can get a good understanding okay look i'm not ranking in hearst i know there's a lot of money in hearst or i'm not ranking in south lake i know there's a lot of money in south lake i want to be in south lake so how can i get more traffic in south lake well here you can pretty much see i can really narrow this down let's narrow this down okay so check this out Everywhere, okay, look, keep in mind, like, the top three are the only ones that get shown first. So everywhere you see at least three, two, one is where they get shown first. Okay, so South Fort Worth is pretty much covered, all right? They, they need to work on Arlington and, like, the north side of town and start working on some of the west side, all right? But, look, I'll show you an example. So, like, two, towards, like, central forward, south central, they're in the top three. And then towards like over here, you know, they're not being shown. But this is a pretty um, 
useful tool. I'm not I'm not selling anything. If anybody has a map listing and want to see where they are, just hit me up. Okay. But uh again, I'm the managing member of Upshot Solutions. If anybody has any questions or anything, just feel free to contact me. All right. Well, 15 minutes in. Um I'm trying to keep this really short and sweet. So we went over a map listing, citations, content, and backlinks. Also, there's something called the mobile friendly test right if your website is not mobile friendly google is going to kind of penalize that thing all right so we'll just stick with the uh we're going to take this guy's url or his uh let's see this this is a mobile friendly website but in two, i think it's 2015 google came out with this thing called mobile getting oh shit says it's, it's not good yeah so pretty much mobile getting if your website is not mobile friendly because most people do their searches on their phones like nobody's not a lot of people do searches on the computer some people do not a lot of people most people search on their phone so if your website is not mobile friendly uh it's going to get penalized and it's going to be harder for you to be ranked all right so just keep that in mind also i'm going to do another heat map search for the tech uh, I, IT. So you do want to put your website in there. I just typed in mobile friendly tests. Google will pop it up. Uh, he passes, but you'd be surprised. Like there's a lot of people out there who aren't, uh, who, whose site doesn't have or isn't mobile friendly. Now I'm going to show you guys how, like how to even get a backlink. So you may see me post, like if anybody has a local business, local site with the local map listing, comment because I do stuff called link circles and when you do link swaps or you know with local businesses it helps your rankings all right so I'm gonna show you how to do that all right so on your site you can't just insert it anywhere like you just got to be like kind of relevant right so what you would do is you just highlight a word or a section of words right section of words I'm just using this as an example and this is the, the keyword or the anchor text, all right? And then you would insert their, whoever you're getting the link, like this, you're giving them a backlink and they're supposed to be doing the same thing for you, right? So if somebody wanted a backlink for me, I would find a relevant place that's relevant to their uh, business. A lot of them would be like down here or something. So like if you do laser hair removal, I would highlight this part right here and I would insert your website URL into this word. It's this thing right here. So you do this and you would link their website into there. So when that when you do that, now if you were, were to hover over this laser hair removal and click on it, it's gonna take you to their website. Okay, they should be doing the same thing for you. That's called a link swap. But if you just want Someone else, like if you don't want to put their um, their link on your page, you might have to like pay them. Like, hey, look, do you do link inserts? They're gonna find a, a place in their blog or on their site that that has a relevant keyword. Like, let's say I do, I install like televisions, right? So right here on their site, let's say this is their site, they would put my website URL into their blog or website. That typo right here, and then you get a back. That's how you get a backlink from somebody. Okay, it's, it's easy as that. All right, now going back to the heat map, uh, this is the Bradford technology. He's in the red all over the place, so he doesn't show up anywhere. I hope some of this was informational and helpful to you guys, but yeah, ranking is definitely a key thing. Remember, when someone's looking for a service or a product, they're going to either ask somebody. They're going to go to Google and search, and that's where you want to pop up is on that high traffic area called Google page one.